morning everyone and welcome to this Sunday morning with Starter Skills. Uh, but it's one of our newer sort of programmes that we're doing um, and it's a great one to really introduce you uh, to the world of whatever we're crafting with at that time uh, and starting with those Starter Skills set that you all want to learn about uh, to get you on your crafty journey. Uh, it is Sunday, you may be watching in the afternoon or the evening, so good morning, afternoon or evening from wherever you are in the world. Uh, we are fully social on this Sunday, which is amazing. It's one of the things that I think puts us a cut above the rest, as they say, uh, because we can interact with you on a really personal level. Uh, we're already, I'm noticing, getting comments in this morning saying good morning. Uh, so you can see just down there below, uh, get social with Crafters TV. So on Facebook, on YouTube, we have Rachel in, our superstar, social superstar. Uh, she's going to be sending your comments into the studio so we can uh, see what your day is all about so I would love to know what you're all up to this Sunday I'm gonna let you into a little secret um, I'm counting the clock down uh, because at half past 12 we've ordered roast dinner so it's coming can't wait big Yorkshire pudding apparently with free meat so um, yeah I'm looking forward to that anyway as uh, crafters TV is live and interactive I am definitely not on my own today uh, we have the most amazing woman in the studio today I love working with this woman she is it's it's a double D day, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah, it's not often we get to do this, so it's, I'm really looking forward to today. We've got loads lined up for you. The only thing I'm not and going to look forward to is you lot having that Sunday roast while I've got my salad to tuck into. Well, you, you can smell it. I know, I will smell it. I'll do the smell of vision <laughs> straight up there. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a good old day, ain't it, Debs? I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. And even more so because the start of skills is all about creator cards. I adore I creator cards so I'm really looking forward to this one I can't wait yeah and I can't wait to see what Debbie has in store for <laughs> us so let's see who's in with us this morning um, Kim's in already uh, Lindsay in saying hi Debbie and uh, Debbie and the CTV team the wonderful social superstar Rachel and everyone she hopes that everyone is well and enjoying the weekend are you enjoying your weekend Debbie absolutely and I'm enjoying my weekend so uh, George are you enjoying your weekend Tracy, are you enjoying your weekend? Yes, well, she said yes. I expected <laughs> to say no because she was working, but she said she is. Um, uh, Lynn uh, is saying good morning from the Isle of Wight. Sandy's in saying she just finished adapting the hot air iris paper folding uh, templates to the Easter egg for the Crafty Kids class. That's Aww. amazing. I love that, getting crafty with the kids. Uh, Zoe's in. Uh, Christine Mahoney's already <coughs> in this morning. Good morning, Christine. Uh, Zoe's in saying good morning and um, saying that I'm liking going to have oh you're going to have a pop noodle how thrilling <laughs> i love a pop noodle so there that's nice not as much as my roast dinner that's coming later on uh kirsty's in saying good morning and betty's in from oklahoma these are the creator card dies that Debbie was just talking about. They're beautiful. Now, I'm just showing you one design. Debbie will show you some more. Uh, this is what it's like to just create that first one. These are the three-in-one creator card. You can use them to create a background. You can use them to create that middle image. But what about using them both together to create that third one? Absolutely spectacular. Uh, and Debbie is going to show us exactly what you can do with them. Yeah, absolutely. So what we've got here, I'm going to use the butterfly garden. Um, this is one of the designs that we have. And this is how this die is split into from that creator card range. You've got your outside border design that you can use on its own. You've then got the central focus part, which is the focal design of this one with the beautiful butterflies uh, and liftable wings on this one as well. So you can use that independently on its own as well. But collectively, bringing them both together, you can create different designs. So you have that three in one option with these beautiful uh, butterfly garden designs. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to use and I'm going to focus on the main part of this card. Now I've taken a piece of multi-purpose cardstock that measures um, 15 inches and I've scored it in at 5 and 10 inches. This die is 5 by 7 in size and the size of the card itself is a 7. So it's going to be a 5 by 7 design in, at the end just with the three folds. But I'm going to use and make the most of all three parts of the design. So on this part, we'll do the, uh, the outer, sorry, the 
outer border design and we're going to stick that down but I'm going to bring in my plates and we'll do the die cutting element first now each one of these designs also has a lovely feature on it where you can emboss <coughs> them as well so I'm just going to hold this down and I'll show you what I mean by that but also you can take your inks and ink through them as well so I'm going to just pop that and run that through our uh, Gemini normal combination face down onto the cutting plate plastic shim magnetic shim and the other cutting plate and we'll run that through so when I run that through this will now create one element from the three in one so the outer part will create a beautiful border I am going to use all three designs and then show you a, a sample of how you can use that separately in the one card as well so let's just bring this in for you and when I turn that over you'll see that you've created the lovely border design now when I take this off this is when you can actually run it through with your purple shim but what I'm going to do is show you another little technique that you can do with it by taking your inks and inking through that embossed design so if I just move that around this way I've taken some water reactive inks with this and what we're going to do is we're going to use a few different colors and use the actual dye itself to create a little bit of an inky technique so I'm going to come in with a fuchsia and we'll just go around a few of those uh, floral designs and then again let's take another one just down this side and you can use this to create now a little bit of color uh, without well with minimal effort so again just running that through and um, we'll do that a couple of times we'll take that around all these lovely flowers you can see all the design where you've got the open space to be able to create and then come in with a little bit of green so I'm going to use our grasshopper and just that's just down the leaf design I'm going to have one of the flowers as well so let's take all of this and then I'll come in with the parakeet as well so if I bring in the parakeet one we'll just finish off and create a little bit more let's go in a little bit that one this one and then lastly this design here now when I lift that off that now creates that lovely little bit of colour but that beautiful border design now the whole function of these is that you can use these separately so I could go into the middle part and then use it collectively but what I think I'll do is I'll do that on the front part so I'm going to run that into this section with the butterfly and then again just hold that down now you can if you want do that in one go so you could actually place those two together and run that through or do it separately in fact I'll tell you what we'll do we'll move it to there and I'll show you my finished one in a second so I'll pop that on and we'll run that through his die cutting machine as well so popping that in and again I'm just gonna pop that just towards the very end and then run that through the die cutting machine again so this time I'm now using the uh, focal die so the middle center die on its own again the different options that you can have and the different styles of cards you can make are so many the three in one design gives you so much flexibility um, and so much creativity it's one of my favorite ones that we've done in the create a card range so I'm going to take this out now when you remove the low tack tape so I'll just take that tape off and then remove the, de the design now with this one just take time it's got some liftable uh, elements to this die so when I take that off you can now see what we've created is the central part and the wings themselves lift off now all I've done with this one is I've taken a bit of scrap paper and using some of the colors we're going to come in and just give a little bit of color to those wings as well so that's just with a tiny little bit of scrap Let's go back in the outer part and then into that center and you can see the effect that it creates gives you a little bit of a lift a little bit of color um, again with minimal effort but looks absolutely stunning when you see the design and the cutout element to it as well which I just think is absolutely beautiful about these they're just gorgeous so again take that off and now you can see using the outer part and the middle part you've created two different looks and then when you bring that in all together if I just show you the finished one that I've done collectively both together that looks absolutely gorgeous separately looks beautiful and then the frame itself again this is when you can bring it all together and create something really quite spectacular and what I've just done with this is taken one of my favorite sentiment dies in our range and use the same kind of colors a couple of little butterflies on there to pop in that center I'm going to now just place that in and the only other thing that I've done on those floral parts is I've added a few little gems and again that's just for a little point of interest 
but you can see the different kind of looks that you can achieve using that three-in-one both together separately and then the border with your sentiments to create a really beautiful styled trifold card which just looks absolutely gorgeous using those three in one creator dies that is absolutely beautiful what a stunning make um, i absolutely love that and using them in different ways now i'm just going to show you the boards of the different ones uh, that we do in this collection so this one is our floral peacock we've then got our butterfly garden which is the one that debbie was just using we then have the gorgeous dragonfly one absolutely gorgeous um, we have the fairy the elegant fairy um, a really nice one that one especially it's got that magic essence about it in that collection we also do the celebration cake which will go for so many different celebrations uh, and then we do do that lovely uh, balloon one which is gorgeous So, lots of you coming in this morning, which is amazing. Let me pop those down there. Um, let's say a few hellos. So, uh, Kirst is in this morning. Beth is in, said, from good morning from Oklahoma. Um, how lovely, Oklahoma. I love all these different places that you're around. But, yeah, when you say something like Oklahoma, it just sounds very cool. Um, uh, Kate is in this morning saying good morning. She's excited to see the Creator Cards. Uh, yes, me too, Kate. I think uh, Creator Cards for all of us um, are one of those dies that are just so simple to use uh, and I know our Debbie absolutely loves them um, Anne is saying good morning from sunny Chesterfield um, and she's looking forward to picking up some new skills absolutely uh, and Sarah Brown is in uh, and just and saying just beautiful Debbie uh, Debbie that was absolutely amazing that card I think these three in one um, offer that versatility more that, than any yeah. other one Ones that we've done before exactly and that's what I love I mean I've always talked about creator cards being something that I absolutely adore because of the versatility and just in that one demo showing you the three different concepts which is why I chose a trifold card to show you using the border and then perhaps taking one and that that on itself just that one there on its own on a card front would look absolutely beautiful and um, imagine it being in a box Debs because that's me that will move the way of thinking I'll show you some more samples in a second but that could have been a little box as well with another four side uh, and create a beautiful box even just using that one on its own again pop a sentiment on there would look stunning but again collectively which is why i absolutely love the three in ones and i'm hoping and praying that we do do some more with different designs at some point because it's the versatility that three different styles that you can create and i've just i've gone to, i've gone to the extreme on this one because i took all three and put them all in there to show you what you can be creating with them but that flexibility the way that you can paper piece this one's a lovely one a lovely sample with the balloons on the front and then the center part as well so you can create not just your front and your inside um, a lovely one using the the cake with again the border and the cake together and then just a little bit of paper that's piecing. beautiful it's gorgeous that one. isn't it yeah. yeah there's a few different ones that you can create and the fact that it's a creator card means that of course it can cut into the front of your card as well so it can be lots of beautiful ways that you use it this is another gorgeous one using that lovely um fairy i love i adore this one again absolutely beautiful but that's using both together but then the same design with just the one on the front panel and then the border panel on the inside of an easel card and that looks absolutely gorgeous create a card that they name create a card for a reason because they create so many different styles that's another beautiful Ooh, one yes. using an inky background again if you did love your light up boxes perhaps take your vellum around the back um, and have your light up boxes uh, but that same design just using the border die completely different look at the difference that you're achieving in that one set of dies it's just amazing and then the dragonflies i mean god i love dragonflies this is beautiful and i love this sample Debs, because it's one of yours uh, just <laughs> absolutely gorgeous think it's just stunning but showing you again that's all three of them in one go and a trifold but then the same design but just on the front cut into some card liftable wings again um maybe onto your inky backgrounds maybe just using the background piece 
but so many different ways and again another lovely one there just using the peacock focal part on the front but then bringing it collectively together stunning just absolutely gorgeous i adore creator cards because of that versatility um and i know that lots of people have said to me they agree because it's true you yeah. i know you agree Deborah, but we all agree but it's lovely when you get that lovely feedback from our lovely viewers and our, our you know our lovely crafting community when they tell us yeah they do because imagine having a stall just of your three in one creator mm -hmm. cards yep. all the different variations honestly just Love blows that. my mind and yeah. then the fact that it's from that creator card range means you can create lots of easy simple cards but also taking it taking your journey you have yeah. to onto a journey because Absolutely. that's what that allowed you to do oh i love that debbie i think we're very very lucky um so uh, to have so many good dies that create a card now we're going to be looking at some beautiful easel cards next so i've got one sample here look at this i mean we've got easter coming up which is incredible absolutely beautiful uh, we've then got so although they're easel cards that you can create a full easel card what about using it on the front of the card to create a different type of easel card i mean that is beautiful i mean you can see baptism there and get you can use that as as anything which will be amazing um, i love this one as well Make them into those shaker cards uh, which we all know and love just such a lovely design um, I think the size of these are very good they create that main piece of, uh, of that topper where you don't need a lot else to go in there just some pretty papers in the background some nice sentiments um, I love this one I think this is beautiful so we know we've got Valentine's Day coming up but you'll have weddings anniversaries all sorts so that's a normal open one but what about if I'm move that like that and then it becomes that twisted easel and I'm going to show you one more before we get over to our Debbie and this one opens up so I mean this could be um, a little mini a photo frame you could put sentiments in each one I absolutely love that one uh, and our Debbie is going to be showing us uh, one of those which one are you going to use Debbie exquisite butterfly Feel like a butterfly theme come in here but again just so many different ways that you can use the creator card i'm going to show you the way it was intended the design itself is from that creator card but it does give you a lovely shaped card so i'm going to create a lovely easel with this using those dies you've got the outer part die um, and then the inner parts where you can create multi layers uh, decorative layers and then of course your stoppers but also little embellishment pieces as well so this one is a really fabulous set in terms of all the creativity that you can use with the, these so what we're going to start with first is we'll start with that outside die now the outside die you can use this in a, a couple of ways uh, you can use it into a folded card which is what I've taken here now if you want to create an easel card there's there's two ways you can do that you can cut yourself three pieces using that main die and then um, with the use of your scoreboard you can create your um, in, your score lines in to create the easel part I'm going to show you a quick way of doing that so this is a uh, multi-purpose cardstock again just folded in half and what we're going to do is we'll bring us plate in uh, as Gemini plate just so I can show you how to place that die on so on the folded part you're just going to leave it with a tiny little bit of a what I call an overhang and this will create a solid shape card to start with and then we'll do all the extra pieces after so what we're going to do first is we're going to take some low tack tape and hold that into place so again just that little bit of overhang on that fold and then run that through your die cutting machine so if I pop that in now on our normal combination and run that through and then you've got all your other pieces to do all your mats and all your layers you can choose different colored cardstock different papers um, just use plain cardstock multi-purpose cardstock use a little bit of inky technique which is what I'm going to do um, just to show you but what I want to show you is the basis part of how to put this together to create that easel so again take that off and when you take the um, main die off the um, platform there what you then have created if I just take off the tape never wants to come off when you want it to let's take that off you've now created a shaped piece like so so it's connected so it stays connected in what you'll then do is you'll take this piece again and run it through to create a solid piece 
like so and then that can sit over the top of there so it creates that full piece but what you need to do first of all is pop in the score line so if I just grab my scoreboard to show you how to do that one let's bring in the scoreboard and again all we're going to do now is we're going to pop into this part a half fold so I'm going to take it to that butterfly let me grab my scoring tool and bring this down and this will create that fold for you to create the easel like so and that's when you will then stick on the top your panel to create that lovely shaped easel card with with it total ease pardon the pun but again it creates a card an instant card for you you're then going to cut and take all your mats in your layers so again we've got the next stages so we've got the um, solid piece that you can create a solid piece with maybe different color cardstock but with the use of the decorative piece it creates a beautiful and I'll, I'll just bring that in with a piece of cardstock again taking that in it'll create this lovely decorative element so let's just take another little bit of low tack tape to hold those down into place like so and run that through your die cutting machine and what you've then got is all your mats and all your layers and of course in fact while we're there we'll pop that little one on as well to create the uh, either an embellishment or it can act as a stopper as well so there's there's options there's choices um, as you would expect with any of our create a card dies uh, but again just looks so many different looks and so many different ways that you can use these these could be toppers on the front of your cards um, they could be uh, decorative box lids that you could pop on as well so it could be a, an easel box lid so again lots of lovely ways that you can use this creator card so I'm going to take that off now let's just take the um, tape off there we go let me find my pokey tool bring that in and lift that now what you've created is a lovely solid decorative panel and if I take that off again just take your time when you're taking it off because it is quite decorative there you go and you've created this lovely decorated piece it's absolutely beautiful and again it could sit into the top of your piece like so however I have got a few little pieces and I'll just take this one out as well because this this embellishment piece as well as the uh, stopper piece I think is so useful in so many different ways imagine cutting that out into different papers different colored cardstocks you've got loads of lovely butterflies you could create a kaleidoscope of butterflies just with that one die so again lots and lots of different ways that you can use it now what I did with the decorative panel was I took our grasshopper water reactive ink and I've cut myself a few of these um, and just popped a little bit of ink around the edge to give it a little bit of a lift so if I just move and bring in all my pieces to show you how we're going to put this together I've created a couple of pieces I've created a solid piece using that outer die so that it can sit into the background and again choosing papers that you have in your collection this is from the daisy collection can really emphasize those pieces um, that was the front panel that was the decorative edge let me just move that one out of the way and the fold so what I'm going to do first of all is attach that to get to, to straight away to create the easel part so on the bottom part we're going to pop some glue and only on the bottom part um, for an easel a shaped easel we're going to place that onto the front and there you go straight away that easel cards in place using the decorative features now I did exactly the same with the piece a, a decorative piece uh, and then a piece of pattern paper but I've just snipped it off at the end so that it fits into the base of there and I've popped some foam pads to give it a little bit of a lift so if I just take off those pieces and you're going to place that in to have a decorative feature on the inside but we've got the front bit to, to start with so what we're going to do first is pop the pattern paper down each one is being created to create an increment so it's a little bit smaller so it fits in there nice and neatly and again let's just bring my foam pad back in off you can pop any glue of choice I just want to give it a little bit of extra flight and an extra um, an extra lift so again you can see now we've got that base already starting to come together and then what I'm going to do now is we're going to place and I've popped a little bit of red liner tape just round the back so that I can peel that off let's just take this off because I'm going to I'm going to create a, a little bit of a lift with these wings that's if I can get my red liner tape off the back there we go let's pop that on there and then that one 
Oh, you don't want to come off. Let's, there we go. There we are. Starting to come together now. And literally just take all those pieces. And I'm going to keep it where it's just the centre part that comes so that the wings themselves actually lift. And you can see that beautiful paper, which is why I've popped a little bit of red liner tape just onto there. And then with a speed, I'll just use our dotty tape pen just round the back for that inner panel. Because I'm going to give it some real depth and some real lift with uh, multiple wings, which is what you can do with these. You can create lots of different styles. So it creates a few lovely little wings there. Now, what I've done with this, because I've got two um, wings, bottom wings I've cut myself two pieces of these I've done it into some white cardstock and pattern cardstock and just add a couple of little gems but because it's going to stop the card from flopping over the easel part just push that up a little bit place the butterfly into place and that's on both sides just to give it that little decorative um, element and that lovely lift and let's just pop that on and then that will be the stopper part and then I'm just going to pop in the centre a little sentiment just running through the middle part. Let's push that there, there we go. And there you have a beautiful easel, shaped easel card using that. And again, with multi-layers, you know, you don't have to use the multi-layers, but they're there. That's the, that's the choice you have with the, these cards. You've created your own shaped card, butterfly card, an easel. And then you've created other decorative panels and even the stoppers from that one die set. And that's why, again, from that creator card range, so many different ways you can use these, but absolutely stunning. I love them. Debbie, that is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And that's just one of the ways you can use those dies. Now, remember, these dies come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Uh, we've got our Noble Heart, which is beautiful. You've then got the Exquisite Butterfly, um, which uh, Debbie was just using. We've also got the Ornate Cross, which I think is another really good usable one. Comes with gorgeous corners, that one. Uh, and then we've got the um, uh, Beautiful Bunny there, which uh, I think is going to be uh, on everyone's wish list for uh, Easter this year uh, and then you've got the gorgeous cupcake so for many occasion you could be using these gorgeous easel dies and Debbie is uh, going to show us a few more samples I, I will I'm just having yes. a little tidy up as I'm going <laughs> along because I literally don't know if you noticed everything was flying around <laughs> Part of the point, everything was flying around or just chucking things absolutely everywhere then realized I'd used me wrong sentiments oh, that no. was for a later demo oh. <laughs> and I'm thinking hang on a minute I can't see it very well so do you know please excuse me because uh, not that I'm a perfectionist off. take it off Debbie. I can't, I'm gonna uh, take it off take it take off. off take it off take it <laughs> Oh. I missed last night. <laughs> For anybody not knowing what we're talking about, it's the mask singer. Yes. You have it all over the world, don't they? But I missed last night, so I don't know who got voted out. Yeah, I don't watch it, so I Do won't you be not? able to give no, I won't be able to give anything away. So well, I'm gonna no. have to try and find it on catch up is and it watch your it. On guilty catch -up. Pleasure? It is a guilty pleasure. I used to think it was stupid, not yeah. a lie. I was like, what on earth? Uh, but honestly, I, you get hooked into it and yeah. it's like, who is it that's singing that? I can't, I can't work out. Yeah. Some I can, but some I can't. I feel better now I've put the right right one on oh there we go there you go the right that's sentiment. the right sentiment let's have a close because up, I use George. one of the butterfly ones <laughs> you know from the vintage butterflies so I feel a little bit better now but aren't they, aren't they beautiful dyes Debs they really uh, so are so lovely absolutely lovely and I think with um, easel cards it's just something although they're classed as easel dyes there's so many different things you can do with these dyes uh, Debbie's going to show us exactly some of the samples our design team yeah because, because it's from that amazing. creator card range Debs so yep. again tons of ways you can use it yep. one of Michelle's favourites a shaker card she loves old shaker card oh, me too. but honestly that's what you could do with these creator card dies Look create your own shaker cards so that's a beautiful one i love i mean i love easel cards i'm not gonna lie i was really pleased when they said they were bringing out a, a, a creator card in the easel range yep. to make it nice and easy you've just seen me do it with the butterfly it's pretty much the very same way but just in that love art design how many different ways are you going to be able to use this love art design oh i know from anniversaries yep. weddings yep. to someone you love Birthdays, Mother's Day, Mother's Day. Yeah. frames, frames of your pictures, of your grandkids, of your fur oh, yes. How many ways could you use these? And I mean, obviously, the cupcake one is a firm favourite. We're not going to lie. We love the cupcake. <laughs> uh, but my niece makes, um, she makes cupcakes. Oh, does it's, she? It's her business, Casey's Cakes, it's called. Oh. Um, and I, I've said to her, I'm such a bad auntie. 
<laughs> well, actually, I'm, I am her auntie because somebody thought I were a grandma the other day. I were like, I'm older, I'm not that old because she's, she's 18. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been promised her that I'm going to make her a bunting using the cupcakes oh, because that's obviously her business. And yes. I'm going to put a name in. Do you know our um, alphabet dies? Yep. And we're going to put a name in each one of the cupcake centres. Um, so she's got her own little bunting. But bad auntie, has she found the time to do it yet? It's ha that's the trouble, Jenny, isn't it? It's having time. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, so again, I've got another lovely way just to show you, just on the front panel of a card. Look how beautiful. Pardon, but again, it is beautiful. Mm. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Just, and one of my favourites, I, I won't lie, because I was tempted to use the cross. Um, it is just a gorgeous de uh, design, a very simple design. And sometimes those cards that we just really don't like to send the, with sympathy cards, um, is it's a perfect one for uh, that occasion. But again, so many different ways. Like you said, Debs, the Easter, Easter's fast approaching. I know it sounds bizarre, but it absolutely. is. Absolutely. Um, these are going to make great kids cards great easter cards um if you do your uh, treasure hunts you could do a few of those with little Love clues that. underneath and, and things idea. like that they, there's just so many ways that you can use these creator cards they're absolutely gorgeous i'd love to know if everybody else agrees with me and i've said this a lot debs mm -hmm. I, I often revert to, to like brands that we do within a brand but kind of things that we do here yep. so well at Crafters Companion and create a card and edibles in my, in my top two. Oh, absolutely. Because there's just so many ways you can use them. Yep. Yeah, edible in so many different ways, create a card in so many different yes. ways. And create a card for me have always been a fame favourite of mine because yep. of the plethora of ways that yes. you can use them. Absolutely. And that's just a little snippet of the ways you can use them. Yeah, totally. So if you're tempted by what Debbie's showing you this morning, you can uh, get onto our website uh, and have a mosey around there. Um, I have to say though, while you're on our website we do have this amazing offer this weekend uh, for 23 pence I don't know if you've heard about this Debbie but we have loads and loads and loads of items someone said yesterday that they bought a mirror a 12 by 12 mirror pad and got another one for 23 pence get so away yes are you <laughs> kidding the alcohol inks buy one get one for 23 pence no. Yeah, it's only till the end of today. Yeah, so I think 12 o'clock midnight it finishes. So please go over to our website and have a look because you will grab yourself a bargain. Everything, 20, you know, it's 2023. So we thought, why not have some goodies for 23 pence, uh, which is amazing. And I know loads of people were commenting yesterday about how many good things that they'd bought. Um, we've also got, so, uh, oh, Christine Mahoney saying, oh, where did that heart come from? Uh, we've had that heart one in the collection, uh, Christine. You've obviously missed it but it's a great die and like Debbie said it, it's going to work for so many different occasions throughout the year I love your idea Debbie about the uh, photo frames because I think that's a really lovely one uh, Michelle is saying that she loves the butterflies uh, Kelly is saying my grandkids would love to get that bunny card absolutely I think for a bunny card love Debbie's idea of doing that treasure hunt so your egg, Easter egg hunt and you could have those little bunnies and write your own little messages on them I think that's a brilliant idea um, Lynn is saying she loves the butterflies fly in the collection um, uh, she says nope I don't watch it either Debs ah so you obviously don't watch Rachel saying she doesn't watch the Masked Singer either um, I, I think it's just time more than anything else uh, Lisa, Lisa saying she loves the cupcake and Christine saying I guess I should start using these those card samples are beautiful uh, yeah absolutely they are they are quite amazing actually aren't they um, right so next let me just grab these I am pausing because this is beautiful. How amazing is this card? Uh, these are just outstanding dies. If ever there was a creator card that you wanted that simplicity and absolutely amazing designs, uh, these are the ones for you. And our Debbie is gonna show you just what she's got in mind for these dies. 
I'm going to do one of my favourites. I'm going to do a light up box with this one. Uh, they're from the Creator Card range. There are framed floral dies. They come in two pieces. Um, I'm using the traditional rose, one of my absolute favourites. I, I just adore this. Um, so many different ways that you can use this by simply, and we give you a little bit of inspiration on the front, because on the front there, it's just a lovely little bit of an inky background. Um, cut out this lovely silhouette black. It just looks stunning. Um, but there are so many different ways that you can use these dies hence why it's from the creator card range because of the versatility and the versatility for this particular die set is the fact that you can cut a solid frame out but with by removing the outer frame you can cut into your cardstock as well which is what we're going to do for this one and then I'll do a solid piece we're cutting it out into some glitter card as well but again really beautiful designs uh, I love the uh, delicate nature of these ones as well but again it's that versatility so what I've done is um, I've taken a piece of multiple purpose cardstock uh, the measurements for this are six and three quarters uh, square and then I've gone in with a um, I think if I remember rightly it's a half inch um, fold down the uh, left hand side and one at the bottom as well and would we'll repeat this four times but first things first we're going to show you how to place this on so if I just visually just close that up for a second what I'm wanting to do is place it into that center so I'm going to pop that in and then I'm going to hold that down again with a little bit of low tack tape. So if I just bring in a little bit of this and I'm going to pop that onto the inside panel because this bit will be cutting away. And then we're going to run that through our die cutting machine. So popping it onto our die cutter, we're going to just run that through. And this is going to create the cutting feature. But again, from that create a card range, multiple ways that you can use it. You can snip into these, you can paper piece with these, you could do your uh, stained glass window effect where you pop some acetate around the back of the delicate die cut and then colour in with your colouring mediums. There is a ton of ways that you can use uh, these create cards. So if I just remove that now and if I get my poker tool and remove the um, low tack tape again, let's just lift that off like so and then the same with the other side and then just remove the die now because of the delicate nature I'm just going to gently prise that out of the die there we go and that creates that lovely cutting now, I'm just going to bring in so you can see that design just a little bit of the um, and sh it just looks absolutely stunning um, loads of things that you can do with this as well not only can you snip it out but you could color the roses themselves or you could use a little bit of an inky background at the back there as well let's just get rid of that one but again absolutely beautiful now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to give this a quick clean and then we're going to just use uh, both of the frames now. So I'm just going to take out those um, die pieces, uh, sorry, those, di those bits of waste is the word I'm looking for. Um, and then we're going to do a full frame where we cut it out. And we're going to cut it out into some glitter cardstock. So again, this time, we're going to use both the outside frame and the um, middle frame and then pop that in together. And this will cut out a lovely, delicate feature. But again, we need to hold that down with some low tack tape and then run that through our die cutting machine. Now, because it's a coated cardstock, this is when you can bring in your uh, metal shim to get that clean cut. And if I just find the metal shim, let's just run that through together and pop that down. And then that on the top. And that's just because of the coated nature of our encapsulated glitter cardstock. And then run that through the Gemini. And what this will do, this will create a, a full solid frame piece that can then sit over the top. You could do a little bit of shadow drop effects with this. Um, or you could simply, on the front of a car, uh, creator card, it could be a, a, a simple topper sheet that can go onto the front of a card with some nice inky background in there. Um, but loads, again, lots of different ways that you're going to be able to, to use these and I'll show you mine in a second what we're going to do with ours so if I just bring that out there we go and then again let's just take that and then I'm just going to poke out all the elements that need to come out there we go and again I'm just going to prise this away and this time this has cut that lovely solid piece out so again, take your time when you bring this out. It is a, a very delicate uh, feature. It's almost like a skeleton feature to this. But again, really, really beautiful design. 
And I usually, when I'm, when I'm taking them out, I'll hold the design and then just prise that out there. I can take all that out with my dye cleaning brush in a minute. Actually, if you love paper piecing, you could use your hold and release sheets and you could be using those then to create that lovely piece. So I'm going to keep that because there's loads of glitter cardstock there. I'm not going to throw that away. We could then piece those pieces back in. But it cuts out that lovely solid frame. If I bring a piece of cardstock underneath, again, that cutting in without the frame, but the using that outside frame does that cutting piece and shows you again. And snippability wise, you could take away that frame, cut out one of those in different colours. So you could have three different coloured roses there straight away. Uh, so lots of different ways again that you can use it what I'm going to do for Mike though is we're going to bring it in now I've done this four times with this piece so what I've done is I've created four of those panels what I'd started with but what I've done with this is I've popped some acetate around the back now this is from the Sate with Flowers um, vellum range and I've just popped that onto the back and put some red liner tape down each one what I've done with this is I've cut away to create the box just going back into those folds, cut away, and then a little knit, and it neatens all that up, and then just pop the vellum round the back. So cut your vellum to size. This is a really substantial die. It's a five and a half inch by five and a half inch. So the panel itself um, will create that uh, five and a half inch. It, perfect for all your six by six card blanks. But yeah, when you're cutting it down, just bear in mind the size that you've gone with. So I've popped one. In fact, I've done two of those because what I've done is I've used some of the purple vellum and again, exactly the same, but this time it just gives it an all different effect because what I want to do is create a little bit of um, colour, a bit of colour to this. So that's the four pieces that I've done. I've actually stuck the um, glitter part down. So bringing in this one, I'll just show you what I mean by that, with the frame, we're going to place that over the top, let me measure that in the right way, and just give it a shadow drop so you've got a bit of the white poking out and it creates a little bit of shadow back at the back of it. So I'm going to use the dotty tape pen for this one to place that over the top. You could use things like your wet glues as well. Tacky glue would probably be the best one with it decanted into a fine tip applicator bottle. Uh, but dotty tape pen will work perfectly because it will hit all those filigree uh, designs um, where it needs to so that it makes it nice and easy for you to pop that on and no glue seeping through so again I'm just going to drop it slightly just dropped it down a tad and I'm not worried about this little bit at the bottom because I think it again gives it a little bit of um, shadow and I quite like that so that's as four that's as four panels now done so the two white ones I've created using the glitter cardstock and again a little bit of colour and what we're going to do is just bring this all together so I'm going to take my um, red liner tape off on the tab part we're going to put the straight edge up to the end like so and we're just going to connect all these four pieces together so again if I take my tape off when it wants to come off there we go and then again i'm going to alternate those colors so i've gone with the orange with the purple back to the orange again uh, and just pop that down onto the side there and this will create now this could be a gift box it could be what well, i'm going to do a, a light up box but lots of, again different ways we say it's from the creator card range we talk about the different creator cards that you can sorry cards you can make but take it a little bit step further making it into a lovely decorated box again just makes this look and stand out absolutely beautifully so again i'm just placing that straight edge up and then we're going to connect the four pieces together so i'm just going to bring in the easiest way i find this is just folding that over the top and lining that up so it's lining straight at the top straight at the bottom so you know you've got that in place and then you can do all the burnishing and again if i just bring all of those four pieces now I know that that will be stuck down perfectly so that creates the box panel uh, and then I've got me four pieces now I wanted a, a box base so with the box base let me just make sure I've got the right piece here um, I've cut a piece of cardstock that measures six by six so again that's just going to sit onto the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick these down um, and lay it flat just pop a little bit of tape inside each one panel bit difficult to see but uh, I think you'll get the gist you could use red liner tape wet glues again include another tape pen let's just bring in another tape pen there we go that's better and we'll just stick those and then we'll attach that bottom base to it as well Again, I'm just going to do that just to give it a little bit of 
somewhere to stick. There we go. Let's just make sure. Right, and then I'm going to use my wet glue round the bottom. All the way along there. And then I'm just going to, and the wet glue gives me time to actually get that shape, that square shape into place so it's nice and square. And then just seal that. And I can strengthen the middle bottom as well by popping another panel in, uh, another piece of six by six into there. But you can start to see that coming together. And then what I'm just going to do is, I'm going to add another little sentiment just onto this front, like so. And then I think I'll have it in this top corner. Let's go into this top corner. You can add things like gems and all those kind of things. You could add a, a base to it as well. So I've got a base to stick this onto. So because with it being a light up box, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape just onto the bottom for my base to stick down. There we go. I'm just going to position that in the centre. There we are. That looks about right. Just turn that around before I stick. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Stick that on. And then in there, I'm going to pop in some LED lights. So you pop your little LED lights in. You can actually pop a top onto it as well, but this will be a, a focal part that sits in there. Pop your LED lights. You can attach your LED lights as well, so you could attach little bits of tape so that it sticks behind the panels. And I'll just bring that in to show you what I mean. With a, You could do it with low-tack tape, especially if you're sealing it. So again, you could attach it to the lid. You can actually attach it anywhere, to be fair, but it just gives it that little bit of um, a lift on there. And again, I'm just going to bring that around, just attach them to all four panels so you can see a little bit of... Uh, you could use things like your... If you don't want to see the tape, you could use things like um, the uh, dotty tape pen as well, with it being vellum. Um, or you could just leave it free hanging, but I'm just going to do that onto the four sides so that each one has got a little bit of light up into there. Let's just pop that at the top and just seal that. And there you go, you've got yourself a lovely light up box. And if you pop a, if you have a lid at the top, you can pop a dimensional lid um, or, or another panel to secure it in there as well if you want. But again, it's just showing you different ways that you can use these creator cards. Um, I absolutely love them because of the versatility that they create. They, there's so many different ways um, that you can use them. And this is just one of the many ways that you can use these gorgeous framed floral creator cards. I think you'll agree that is stunning I haven't seen a make like that for a long time and it just shows you how easy they are to use and what you can be creative with um, the dies in this collection are our blushing poppy uh, we've also got our dainty dahlia and then we've also got our um, which one's this It's the framed floral cage um, which I don't think is the right name for that one floral Yep, yep, different one. Uh, that's our traditional rose. Uh, so beautiful designs there. Um, absolutely. Uh, you know what, Debbie? I think out of all the creator cards, I quite like these ones yes. for their simplicity. And they're bold as well. Yes. So even yeah. though they're simplistic, they're very bold and stunning. They have um, a, a wow factor to them, an absolute they, wow factor, don't they? Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more, Debs, because um, just of, again, of the ways that you can use them. I mean, I, you know what I'm like with my light-up boxes. I, I love box making anyway, mm -hmm. yep. uh, but I love a light-up box. I think they look so pretty, especially if you have them in centre parts of your tables or, yeah. something, or a bit of an home decor piece. Um, like I said, you could pop a box lid on there if you don't want that to be open. You could pop yourself a box lid on there. Um, you don't have to attach those on, but I just wanted to do it so you could visibly see them. Um, but the versatility that you've got with these is just absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you a very quick sample there to show you what I mean. So that's the same design for the poppies that been snipped out and popped onto the front of a card. Wow. So when we talk about creator cards, and, and like you said, the bold flowers... They've got that lovely, delicate, simple nature to them, um, and they're just absolutely stunning. So again, showing you different concepts that you can use. This is a lovely Z Fold card. Um, I just love that. Again, on the back of that inky background looks stunning, but by opening it up, you've created this gorgeous frame um, floral piece. Keep it really simple. Pop some colored 
coloured paper at the back or your inky backgrounds last week I did something very similar with this die but I used three different colours I used I think it was like a parakeet a fuchsia a crushed velvet don't oh, ask me why I keep nice. using those colours but I do uh, <laughs> they're just some of my favourites uh, but just a, a very simple inky background talking of simple and easy and I don't mean it in a horrible way but it's stunning yep. clean and simple and stunning and it just is a lovely um background a wash of a, a glitter sparkle pen background with that die cut out again absolutely gorgeous but then look at this deb's <coughs> I oh, absolutely wow. adore this. Yeah. Um, a little bit of paper piecing at the back or inky backgrounds again, but cut away. I'll just show you what Nicole's done with this one. She's cut it away into there because that's what you can do. Um, and then on the side steppers, look what she's done with side steppers. She's just brought in the poppy design in black and just snipped into it and created a little bit of depth and dimension. And the same die and the same lovely lady who made it, uh, just again, incredible clean simple stunning every single time no matter which design you're going for i think you know you could again this is the same floral design but two different looks just absolutely i just adore them i, I do agree with you debs i mean yes it's from the creator card range it's got florals mm -hmm. they're bowls Bold and beautiful. Bold Bit and like beautiful. ourselves, Debbie. <laughs> Bit like ourselves well, is what I'm going to say. Let's blow like our you. Own <laughs> <laughs> you are bold and beautiful, Debbie. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, they're gorgeous. I'm just going to bring this sample back in because uh, if you've got your glossy highlights, look what you could be doing. I mean, if I just, I ain't got, look at that. I mean, it's like mirror, isn't it? It's just amazing. Uh, yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, and I know a lot of you are loving these flowers. And actually, uh, Christine has just said something which uh, I think really sums it up. She says, I love this show. Shows us how to use the items that, we've all, that we already have. And if we're new or haven't got them, they are right on the website waiting uh, for us to purchase. The more we see that, the, the more we see that we can do with them, the more items we purchase. Yes, uh, she's already has them purchased and, uh, and they're more valuable items that they are. Um, going back to the 23 three pence on the website uh, Lynn has just said she got herself a Gemini dimensional pop-up box die so that was the ones that Michelle was using yesterday uh, and she got a uh, rotary cutter for 23 pence oh <laughs> my god I know I, I mean, need to go amazing. and have a little look at this website honestly, it's amazing there's so many good buys on there which is uh, just uh, yeah incredible um, yeah well gorgeous uh, Lisa's saying Lynn is saying that that, uh, oh no, I've just read Liz. Lynn's saying that uh, I have the flower dies. They are so beautiful and create lovely cards. Um, Lynn is also saying the rose is beautiful. Um, Laura is saying, hi everyone, I do parchment craft um, as well as die cutting. Uh, does anyone know if the Crafter's Companion vellum is any good for using with the groovy plates? Oh, I don't know. Have you used so, groovy so plates? I've used, um, I have used our uh, printed one because I, like, yeah. I love the white design on a printed one. So I have used it. Um, it depends which vellum pad you're going for because uh, we have different is it microns they call it debbie yes i always remember that it's because it's gsm with a weight into of cardstock and mm -hmm. it's i think it's microns yep. in terms of um uh, vellum but yep. i have used our patterned one because our patterned ones are really thick. thick they're not you know they're not um, a thin vellum mm -hmm. um so yes i have used the patterned one i'll be totally honest i'm not going to stand here and tell you that i've used it because i i love groovy i've, I've got a, a collection myself it started in store <laughs> I blame being in the store because it started there and it's a craft I haven't picked up for a while actually yeah. uh, but again I haven't used our plain vellums but I have used a pattern vellum and I did that just so I could test out the quality of the vellum oh, okay. um, when I was doing a, an yeah. embossing one I wanted to see what it was like yeah. so that's why I did it so yes I know the print there are other printed ones are fine mm -hmm. check the microns out and compare do the comparable right um, yes. with what you get from um, certain places as well so yeah. that's that's what I would just say do the comparable if it's a good Micron weight, absolutely fine. Oh, fabulous. Yep. Hopefully that helps uh, Laura. Um, Liz is saying that uh, love these designs. Watching you is certainly making her tax returns less tedious, um, which, uh, yeah, I think is amazing. So, uh, um, but yes, so anything that we've had on the show today, head to the website and you will find them on the website. Remember to go into that 23 pence one as well uh, because there is so many bargains to be had from there. Um, what have you got coming up later? So we're going to do a um, template special. 
So we're, we are going to concentrate on some templates. Oh. And I've got three designs lined up for you. I think if I remember rightly, I've got the storybook. Oh, nice. Remember the storybook one with the box. Yeah. Oh, I've got that one on. Love that. Let me just check because I've got it there. Oh, crepe paper flowers. Anybody love this eight with flowers? Oh, I've got yes. the crepe paper flowers because nice. I do love those. And what was the other one? What was the other one? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I've got them all down here. Oh, <laughs> the favour boxes. Oh, of course. So the template yes. favour boxes that add the metal dies for decorative panels. We're going to concentrate on those as well. Uh, pretty much similar to what we've just done now, where I've tried to show different ways that yep. you can use them. Um, obviously, it's a bit different with those because... They've, there's only like the one purpose in how you can use them but I'm, I'm trying to find some samples to show you the many ways that you can yeah uh, but yeah I hope I've shown you with our creator card ranges how you can use them in different different ways so that was that three in one showing you how you could use that that's the easel and again it's just different ways that you can use so you wouldn't believe that all of those came from a creator card range because they're so different yes um, and that's what I wanted to get across in this starter skill show and I hope I've achieved that with you um, during this uh, this I can't believe hour where's I know. it gone where's it gone uh, but honestly I, I just hope that it's giving you a little insight whether you are starting out or whether it's just a little refresher because I know that people and we get new viewers all the time yes. and there's those new viewers that sometimes just scrolling past see it but don't actually comment or anything like that don't be afraid comment we don't bite <laughs> uh, but you might be new and it might be you've never heard of create a card before or you just don't know where to start with a create a card I hope that I've given you just that little a bit of inspiration to either have a go or try a different way um, in this hour and I, I hope I've, I hope I've ticked that box Debs because um, I love our creator card range I could talk about them forever today oh, they're yeah. absolutely my top favorite types of dyes that we do at crafters companion and we do many this is just a very yep. little tiny ice drop in a great big mountain of ice yeah uh, because we have a lot in our range um, so yeah I hope you've loved the show because I've uh, really enjoyed it I think Debbie you've shown it in abundance today and I absolutely know you would give everybody um, that inspiration just very quickly um, uh, Lisa has said what is the glossy name uh, the glossy name is called glossy highlights so you'll find that on the website um, and Alice Alicia or Elisa uh, is asking Debbie how big is the side stepper card oh the side stepper card mm. of the rut let's just get in there let me um, find it out and Chris is saying she loves all the makes on this show beautiful yeah I couldn't agree more Debbie's just going to quickly give us the measurements of that uh, but please join us back at 2 p.m. because Debbie's going to be bringing us lots more inspiration so it's going to be lots of fun uh, how are we doing Debbie so uh, the dimension of this is a nine and a half by six. Oh, okay um, so and uh, you would just take it into we, we've got tutorials on our website on how to create stepper cards, uh, yep. stepper cards. Um, so yeah that's that's the actual uh, folded down dimension when Debbie can fold it back into place <laughs> uh, it is a nine and a nine but wait a minute let me just do that again yeah nine by six uh, design so you can see it's absolutely gorgeous one of our lovely uh, well I say our design team member she started off our uh, design team with pinched her uh, Nicole Brethrick <laughs> um, a super super talented crafters we've got super talented crafters throughout our design team absolutely uh, but Leanne pinched her from the design team and she now works for us full time she does, uh, and yeah. this is one of those beautiful concept cards that she did using uh, the framed floral dies it's absolutely stunning uh, so that's the measurements for you there oh, absolutely fabulous thank you Debbie hopefully that helps well I hope you've enjoyed this hour we certainly have it's been full of inspiration we've loved having you with us this morning please come back at two o'clock and we will show you even more I'm gonna go and have my roast dinner and uh, Debbie's gonna have her lovely salad um, let's know what you're eating later on see you then bye